All right, what's going on, everybody? This is your boy King TJ coming to you with a review of the Fusion Smoke Black Galaxy Note 5 case by Renki. It, I ordered this case a few days ago from Amazon.com for eleven dollars. Um, I think it was when I first saw it. I looked at the case. I was looking for something that wasn't as bulky as an OtterBox, but would give me. Uh, somewhat protection of the phone and I'm pretty you know protective when it comes to my phone so I didn't need anything I didn't feel like I needed the Defender or like out of box or anything like that that would um, keep me from you know just completely destroying the phone I'm pretty protective with my phone anyway so um, I felt I wanted something that was going to be a little more slim line, more streamlined, and allowed me to actually see the beauty of the phone, but give me a little bit of protection as well, and not add too much bulk or too much weight to the phone. I felt like you know I would give the Rinky, again, the Rinky Fusion uh, Smoke Black a chance. I'm looking at the reviews, I like what I saw in the reviews, so I figured I would give it a shot. Um, so I've already opened the case, uh, opened the package you see, but it comes in this just simple package, has it labeled, uh, the, the quote on there says simplicity is the ultimate sophistication. So it's just a simple package, you know, there's nothing on the back, nothing special. You know, when you open it up, you get your, um, you get a few things with it. You get, uh, set that down right there. You get a, you know, a booklet, more or less thanking you about it, you know, it kind of tells you, gives you more of some instructions on, you know, if you can see that, instructions on how to apply the screen protectors. You get two screen protectors. You get one for your front glass, for your front screen, and you actually get one for the back of the phone as well. It only covers the center part of the phone. It doesn't cover the full uh, back of the phone, and you can see that in this picture. It only covers, like, the, the center strip. So... It, it allows some protection, but it doesn't do a complete, you know, wrap around. If you have the Galaxy Note 5, you understand that the whole entire back glass is that the back of the phone is actually glass. So this gives you some protection on the back of the phone, but not a full covering of the back of the phone. And then they also give you this as a, like of a as a template where you can actually design your do make like custom designs for the back of the phone that you can more or less insert into the back of the case and this design will actually fit um, exactly over the middle strip of the, the back of the phone exactly where the back screen protector they give you exactly where that goes so this is just a little kind of a piece of cardboard it gives you a piece of plastic it gives you instruction on you know how you can um, cut out your own design and which tools you would need um, for to do that I haven't tried that yet but some videos I've seen on YouTube actually you know show guys actually doing that show people actually doing it it doesn't seem like it'll be too difficult you need like a craft knife and whatever particular design you wanted to put on the back of your phone for as of right now you know I, mine is just a clear case so let's get to what we're here for let's look at the case alright this is actually the case as you can see it's um, it's just a one-sided case it is uh, like a silicone type feel around the outer edge as you can see it's uh, real flexible but the middle piece is actually a hard plastic that's actually a hard plastic so um, you have their buttons on the side and the buttons are actually raised a little bit so they're real easy to use you don't feel like you have to dig in there to kind of you know get the button to work and then your power buttons on this side and then on the bottom, this is one of the things I was kind of impressed by, but I wish it was a little bit better. I thought it could be a little bit better. You see here, there are actually tabs to cover up your USB port and your 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. They're actually dust covers for those. So these actually work very well as far as by sticking in the USB port and the, the 3.5 millimeter jack hole so they actually work really well the only thing is they don't swivel out of the way they're attached right here by just more or less a little piece of plastic they're attached right there I don't know if you can see it but yeah so my concern is that over time that actually might snap off but um, I haven't seen any reports of that yet but that would be my only concern then you have your hole for your speaker which is here and then this is actually the hole for the S Pen which is there. So hold for speaker here, hold for your S Pen is there. And 
that's pretty much the case. It's not really much on top, you know, little hole there. Then you have your back is your, you know, your cutout for your camera. You cut out for your camera there. But again, it's a hard plastic there. So why don't we go ahead and put it on my phone so you can actually see what it looks like on the phone. I have my Note 5 here, and I've already applied the screen protector. The screen protector was really easy to apply. As you can see, it's very high gloss. It's very anti-fingerprint, anti-smudge, and it looks great. You really can't even tell it's there. Um, then on the back, you can see almost kind of like where the glass is and then you see the that screen protector I was talking about on the back of your phone is right there in the middle so I'm going to go ahead and put this on and again this case fits really snug which is one of the reasons I wanted it. I wanted something that was going to be streamlined that was going to be snug but it actually uh, kept my phone um, kept my phone protected so again it just snaps in snaps in no problem there and we're in the again it snaps in no problem there say we're in the tabs on the bottom again they just push those into the USB porthole and then in the 3.5 millimeter jack hole then they're in you have your speaker hole here S pen hole here you know microphone there the your buttons on the side are right there your buttons on the other side and you might be able to see this, I'm not sure. You have a very, very small lip going around the center. It kind of gets a little thicker as you go to the edges up top, but um, that's about it. So it doesn't give you, again, that, that Defender Autobox type protection, but it does give you enough protection. To, the edges are very thick, so if your phone, normally when your phone typically falls, it hits kind of corner first. So the corners are reinforced to kind of keep that from damaging the phone. And one of the concerns I've heard, I've seen and read for some people is the S Pen access. I actually prefer this access over some other cases. As you can see, it covers the entire corner. So what I've seen in some cases, there's a small cutout here but that still allows the bottom of your phone to still get dirty or smudged or scratched well since this case covers down you don't really get that but there is where the S Pen you would have to actually push up in and get it out you know um, so that could be challenging for some people but for myself it, it it's not a concern so again it's this is the Rinky Fusion smoke black case for the Galaxy Note 5. Again, I like the case so far. It fits in my pocket well. It doesn't take away from the beauty of the phone. It doesn't take away from the beauty of the phone. It looks really well. It protects really well. So if you're interested in a case that's going to be, you know, fit your phone tight, but not add a lot of bulk, not add a lot of weight, you know, I would say this could be a really good try for you. For a decent price, it's not ex not very expensive at all. Um, it could give you a run, and if you don't like it, you can always send it back, or you know, keep it. And you might change your mind later. It's only like 10, 11 bucks. So I would say give it a shot if you're interested in it. And if you have any questions, just hit me up. All right, thanks, guys. Have a good one.